Welcome back to episode 8 of Fantasy Football Fridays. I'm Brody Heideman, joined alongside Peyton Parker, and today we're going to be going over week 13 of the NFL. And to start off with, the Rams taking on the Ravens. And the Rams, they're coming off a series of victories that are pretty big. The real question this week is, will Puka Nakua play? He's over 1,000 yards in the season now. If he does play, I'm going to sit him, and my start of the week is going to be Cooper Cup. He had a decent week last week. I think he steps it up again and plays big against this weak Ravens secondary. Give me, I think this is going to be a lot closer game. Give me the Ravens winning a close one. I don't think the Rams are going to be able to pull it out, but give me the Ravens winning 27-24 over the Rams. Um, my start's going to be Zay Flowers for the uh, Baltimore Ravens. I think that the Rams secondary is very weak, and I think Zay Flowers could definitely see the ball, see some points. And my sit is probably Puka Nakua. Um, even if he does come back, he's coming off an injury, not going to be as good. And exactly. give me the Baltimore Ravens 35 to the Rams 24. Next up, Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Atlanta Falcons. My start of the week, I'm going to start Drake London. I think he has a decent game. He's the leading receiver for this Falcons receiving squad. I'm going to sit Mike Evans. I don't think he does very good against this week. AJ Trell is going to be matched up against him. I don't think he's going to do very good. Give me the Falcons winning this one. I don't think the Buccaneers are very good. Give me the Falcons winning 21-14 to 14 over the Buccaneers. Yeah, um, my sit is going to be B. John Robinson. He ha- he has just fallen off of a cliff in the second yes. half of the season. Um, he has not been that good at all. And my start, also Drake London. Um, I, th- I think that he definitely has opportunity against this Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense. Um, and I got the Falcons winning 15 to the Buccaneers 10. Next up, Lions taking on the Bears. And a lot of people have had questions about David Montgomery, which Amir gives me back, but I'm going to start David Montgomery. He has 10 touchdowns on the season, even with being injured for multiple weeks. I think he's going to get some more touchdowns. They put him in at the goal line, and he does good. My sit of the week, though, I'm going to sit Cole Komet at tight end for the, the Bears. He's just not been very viable so far this season. He's been decent. He hasn't been very viable, especially as one of those top tight end slots. Give me the Lions winning big. Give me the Lions winning 35-20 to 20 over the Bears. My start's going to be a wide receiver from each team, actually. I, Amon or St. Brown or DJ Moore. And my sit, Justin Fields, uh, I, I think that this Lions defense is going to just take care of this this Bears offense. Yeah, but good. Yeah. Um, and give me the Detroit Lions winning 24 to the Bears 3. Next up, Colts taking on the Bengals. I have a lot of starts in this game. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why I have a good feeling about this game. My only sit and kind of questionable sit because I would still start him would be Jake Browning. I think he played good last week. I don't know if he's going to continue it, but I would still kind of borderline start him. But I have a lot of starts. Gardner Minshew, he's going to play good, I think. I think he's got all the weapons he needs. Michael Pittman has been stepping up. Start him if you can. He's had multiple 20-point games the past weeks. And Zach Moss in for the injured Jonathan Taylor. Please start him. I think he's going to have a good week. He's got 700 yards in the season being a running back two. Give me the Colts winning. I think they're going to be a playoff team. I'm going to say it. I think they're going to be a playoff team. Give me the Colts winning 28-23 to over the Bengals. Yeah, this game's really hard to sit anybody. I mean, it's two very good offenses going up against each other. But if I had to, it would be Gardner Minshew or Jake Browning. I mean, both backup quarterbacks. Um, and start, you can start any, any of these guys, Zach Moss, Joe Mixon, Michael Pittman, Jamar Chase. But uh, I think I got the Colts here winning 21 to the Bengals, 13. Like that. Next up, Jaguars taking on the Browns. Both teams they might be without quarterbacks this week. Trevor Lawrence is questionable. Christian Kirk, he's going to be out for a while. That's like a little bit of a questionable start. It's kind of borderline. I don't know how much I am very positive about it. Start Calvin Ridley. He's going to be the wide receiver one for this team now without Christian Kirk. And Trevor Lawrence, if he's playing, he's going to have his number one target now. I, I don't know. I could see him having a lot of yards. And my sit, I'm going to sit Amari Cooper. He only has two touchdowns on the season. And with Joe Flacco in at quarterback, I don't think he's going to do very good. Give me the Jaguars winning this one. I think they're going to still find a way to win. It's going to be a low-scoring game. Give me the Jaguars winning 20-13 to over the Browns. Uh, yeah, I think with the Jaguars' injuries last week, I think Travis Etienne could like really get some touches good. in this game. Um, obviously, Cleveland Brown secondary is also very good. And my sit, also Amari Cooper, he's questionable. Um, he has a QB two or three throwing him the ball. And give me the Browns, 13 to the Jaguars, 7. Next up, Panthers taking on the Saints. 
and keep it short and sweet. Start Alvin Kamara if you have him. Sit any Panthers offensive player. They're just terrible. This offense is one of the worst in the leagues. Fired their head coach. They, they're just not good. Give me the Saints winning 25 to the Panthers 7. Um, I think you could start Adam Thielen or Alvin Kamara in this game, but sit Bryce Young or Derek Carr if you have either of those quarterbacks. Um, there's definitely a better quarterback on the waiver wire. Pick pick whoever that is up. Sam Howell, good pickup. True. Um, and give me the give me the Saints winning 21 to the Panthers 10. Next up, Texans taking on the Jets and big loss for the Texans with Tank Dell being out for the season. That's why I'm going to start Noah Brown. He's going to be the wide receiver, too, for this team. Nico Collins and him have kind of been splitting and having these big games off and on. C.J. Stroud, obviously, if you have him, start him. And sit Zach Wilson and Garrett Wilson. I don't think either of them is going to do very good. Garrett Wilson hasn't done very good with Zach Wilson in at quarterback. I think the Texans win big with Zach Wilson playing again. Give me the Texans winning 33-14 to over the Jets. Yeah, this is a really weird start, but I'm going to go with it. Um, with Zach Wilson being back in the starting lineup, I would start the Texans' defense. I think True. Zach Wilson could easily have two turnovers in this game. And I'm going to sit – this is this is debatable, but Garrett Wilson. Zach Wilson's throwing him the ball, so I don't think Garrett Wilson will get the ball very much at all. Oh. And give me the Texans 17 to New York Jets 7. Next up, Vikings taking on the Raiders, and I'm just going to keep it short again. Justin Jefferson, he is back. Please start him. And it's going to be questionable to sit Jordan Addison, but I would sit Jordan Addison if you have him. He's going to kind of just be coming off the bench now, especially with Joshua Dobbs, who isn't the best of a quarterback. I'm going to sit him. Also, I think you can need to sit Alexander Madison. He hasn't done anything for this Minnesota offense. He's just horrendous. They're going to look to pass the ball a lot. Watch for Justin Jefferson to have a first game back. That is huge. Give me the Vikings winning, though. I think the Vikings are going to – it's going to be a slow-scoring game. Give me the Vikings winning 20-7 to over the Raiders. Yeah, I'm going to start Josh Jacobs or Justin Jefferson, two very viable options for for this this game. Um, and I, I'm going to sit TJ Hawkinson. I think with Justin Jefferson being back, he's going to take some of those receptions. And I got the Vikings winning 13 to the to the Raiders, 6. Next up, NFC West matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the 49ers. And I, after last week, if you have Debo Samuel in your lineup, start him. He went nuclear three touchdowns last week against the Eagles. This 49ers offense looks elite, and I think they're going to continue it against the Seahawks. Start Debo Samuel if you have him. Sit Kenneth Walker. He's coming off a week where he didn't play because of an injury. Sit Kenneth Walker. I don't think he's going to do very good if he does play. The 49ers, they've been on fire this season. They've scored 40-plus points six times this season, I believe. That's why I got the 49ers winning 42-14 to over the Seahawks. Uh, yeah, I think my start is Brandon Ayuk. I think he can do what Debo does, and I think he could do it this week against a weak Seattle Seahawks defense. Um, and my sit, Kenneth Walker or DK Metcalf, I think either of them won't do very good against this very good San Francisco 49ers defense. And give me, I think this could be a close game. Um, last time it wasn't, but I think this one will be close. So give me the 49ers 24 to the Seahawks 20. Next up, Buffalo Bills taking on the Chiefs. I got some hot takes for you. I'm going to start Josh Allen and I'm going to sit Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, I don't think he's going to do very good this week personally. I think the Bills are going to just light up this Kansas City Chiefs team. I don't have a good feeling about the Chiefs this week. I don't know what it is. I don't think the Chiefs are going to do very good. Mahomes is having kind of a down year for him. I'm going to start Josh Allen again. He's going to do very good, I feel like. Give me the Bills winning. I think it's still going to be a close game. Give me the Bills winning 27-24 to over the Chiefs. Yeah, my sit's going to be Isaiah Pacheco. He's questionable right now. Um, he's been okay so far this season. And my start, Travis Kelsey. I think he can light up this Buffalo Bills defense. And, but I think the Bills will win this game. I think they will win big. Give me the Buffalo Bills 24 to the Chiefs 7. Ooh. Next up, Broncos taking on the Chargers. And I mean, Russell Wilson, he's played really good so far this season. He has been on fire. Had a really down week last week through, I believe, three or four interceptions. I'm going to sit Russell Wilson. I'm going to start a lot of people 
Questioning Austin Eckler. I think he's going to do a little bit of a bounce back. I think he'll be fine this week. Start Austin Eckler if you have him. My score prediction, I think the Broncos still win this one. I don't like the Chargers coming into the final stretch of the season. I think this is the nail-biter, though. Give me the Broncos winning 21-20 to over the Chargers. Yeah, my start's um, one of the best wide receivers in the league, Keenan Allen. And I'm going to have to sit Javante Williams. I mean, he has been underwhelming, to say the least, this yes. season. Uh, but give me the Broncos. Uh, give me them eh, 27 to the Chargers, 21. Next up, NFC East matchup between, obviously, two of the top teams in the league, the Eagles and the Cowboys. My start is going to be any offensive player for either team. These offenses are elite again. And my sit is going to be either defense, mostly the Eagles' defense. I don't think they're going to do very good. And I don't, I don't like the trajectory the Eagles are on after last week. I think the Cowboys are going to expose this Eagles team even more. Give me the Cowboys winning a nail-biter again, 33-30 to over the Eagles. Yeah, both of these teams are really good, Brody. Um, I, I really can't sit anybody off of any of these offenses. So start, if you have an offensive player on this team, start them. And if you have a defense like the Cowboys or the Eagles defense, pick up pick up a different one from the waiver wire, start them. And I think the Eagles are going to win a close one here. Give me the Eagles 35 to the Dallas Cowboys 31. Next up, there's two Monday Night Football games this week, but the first one, Tennessee Titans taking on the Miami Dolphins. My start, I'm going to start one of my – I think I've started him like five times, Raheem Mostert, even with Devin A. Chain back. Please start Raheem Mostert. He is getting so many touchdowns, 14 touchdowns on the season. My sit is going to be DeAndre Hopkins. A little bit of miscommunication between him and Will Levis last week, and I think they're kind of off sync. I don't really like them that much this week. I think the Dolphins win big. Give me the Dolphins winning 35 to the Titans 14. Yeah, uh, we said it last game. Start anybody on this Miami Dolphins offense. They are explosive. They will get you so many points. And sit the Tennessee Titans defense. Um, And I'll take the Miami Dolphins 42-14 to in this game. Last game of the week, another Monday night football game. The Packers taking on the Giants. And the Packers, they went nuclear last week with Jordan Love against the Chiefs. Start Jordan Love, please. Him or Jaden Reed. They are just, they're a dynamic duo. I like him a lot. I like Jordan Love. I think he's going to continue to build. He has very similar stats to what Aaron Rodgers had his rookie season. Sit any Giants offensive player. They are just horrendous on the offensive side. Maybe Saquon Barkley, but he has one touchdown on the season through on the ground. My score prediction, I think the Packers go nuclear again. Give me the Packers winning 33-20 to over the Giants. Yeah, um, if you have Christian Watson and he's your flex, I'd start him. I think he could have a good game against this terrible New York Giants team and if I'm being honest like Brody said sit anybody from the New York Giants they are not good and I got the Green Bay Packers winning this game 28 to 3. Thanks for tuning in today folks I'm Brody Hyman joined alongside Peyton Parker with the Wingspan the official news source of Grand East.